homemade missile weighs just over two pounds, so how far will the baking soda and vinegar send it? Up to head height? As high as the power lines, at about 35 feet, the height of the Circus Circus Hotel, approximately 300 feet, or even into the stratosphere at about 30,000 feet. Tell you that, I don't want to touch it. No. Oh. All right. OK, right. Oh, my gosh. Everyone looks really nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Look at your faces. You definitely want to do this. Shall we do this? Do it. All right. In three, two, one. Look at the height! Oh my god! Oh, wow. 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 Look at that! Oh my god! Baking soda rockets! How cool is that? Yes! yes. yes. With baking oh soda! Awesome. Amazingly, my homemade missile has shot up to around 300 feet, about as high as the Circus Circus Hotel. So one of my group was right. We have a winner. You were right. High fives, right. <laughs> now, why did it do what it did? It's a lot of pressure, pressure in that tank. It. It's contained pressure. That's exactly it. This actually is rocket science. The buildup of pressure in the metal canister is down to the same chemical reaction that popped the little plastic canisters earlier. The baking soda and vinegar combined ultimately to create carbon dioxide gas, which rapidly fills the available space, increasing the pressure so when it's all released at once, it has an astonishing amount of force. So we release it out, it comes out of a small hole, the jet, which is exceedingly high pressure, and there's something in the way. What's in the way? The rocket. The rocket, propelled straight up into the air. The only thing it has to overcome is the force of gravity pushing it down. Does that make sense? Yeah. Should we do it again? Yeah. Should we do it one more time? Any chance we could strap onto it and cover a ride? You want to go on that? Then? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, no! Look at the height! Oh, my 